Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. Today, we're going to talk about the hierarchy of hotkeys in Reaper. In short, what hotkeys take priority over what other hotkeys, and how can we modify this to our advantage and reduce annoying and unwanted behavior? First, with a quick primer. So I have this action, for example, item, remove fade in and fade out. I want to add a hotkey to it. So I can highlight the action, come down here to add. I can go Command and F, for example, and I can hit Enter. And now if I have a bunch of items like this, I can hit Command and F and I'll have removed their fades. Now this hotkey works when I have my focus set to main. So this hotkey is exclusive to the main section. In other sections, I can do other things with the same hotkey. So for example, in the MIDI editor, I have Command and F set to toggle window docking. So I have my MIDI window docked here and I can hit Command and F and it will be undocked and I can again dock it back to where it was. So you can go up here always and you can change the section. There's main, main alt recording. So while you're recording, you can have a total other set of commands that you don't want to accidentally press while you're recording. You have your media explorer, you have your MIDI editor, then you have the events list editor and that's this situation right here. And you have your inline editor. Editor, and that is this situation right here where I can just edit MIDI right here on the spot and I can give it its own kind of hotkeys. So these sectional commands are dependent on which window is focused. Now as a side, inside of some plugins, you may need to be able to type stuff. For example, this is the plugin for East-West libraries. So, you know, you have hundreds and hundreds of instruments and you may want to do a search inside of this. So let's say I'm looking for an upright bass. So I can go to the database here and I can type in my search window upright bass. Except that clearly didn't work because I wanted to go upright then space base, but that didn't happen because when I hit space, our space instantly gets passed through the main triggering transport play stop. So there's a very easy fix for that. You can right click on any plugin that you may want to type inside and you can go send all keyboard input to plugin. Hit it, and now if I press space, all the keyboard input will get passed through to the search bar so I can look for an upright base and I can bring it in. Moving up the hierarchy, the next set of hotkeys are global hotkeys. So for example, if I press one, two, three, four, or five, and so on, I can move between my markers. Now this would be really useful also to have in your MIDI window, but in your MIDI editor, you don't have the option to switch markers. So that could get a little annoying. Go back to your main, for example, action go to marker one, and you you can hit the hotkey one, but you can come down here and set the scope to global. And now because that hotkey is global, no matter where I am, I can press one to go to marker one, press two to go to marker two, press five to go to marker five, and Bob is indeed my uncle. So once you set that marker to global, it goes up the hierarchy. So it no longer matters which window is in focus. And global hotkeys also supersede plugins that have send all keyboard input to plugin enabled on them. So if I come back to this database, I can type upright, I can type space. But if I type, for example, two or one, you can see that it's still taking me to those markers. So no problem when it comes to numbers, I can always use my numpad to write in that text field if I want to. And Bob remains to be my uncle. So that is global hotkeys. So the only place where global hotkeys don't work are inside text fields. So let's say I have my kick track selected and I go shift and F and I come to my plugin window. I'm looking for a plugin to put on my kick. It's been a while since I added something to my kick, so I don't exactly remember what's on my kick. So I can also do option and F to open my plugin window. However, that didn't happen. When I hit option and F, because the effects browser was focused and specifically the text field on top of the effects browser was selected, this just put this little weird look in F there to search inside my plugins. This particular key is also useless to me because where is that in the name of any plugin? So what I can do is go back to my action list and I can go find shortcut, look for option and F, which is view effects chain for current last touched track. And I can come here, hit the hotkey again, option and F. And this time I'm setting the scope to global plus text fields. So now that hotkey will be triggered no matter where we are. In any other window it works and inside text fields it works works as well. So if I have my kick track selected, open my effects browser, I can hit Alt and F to open this. So since I'm never typing this weird looking thing, I can always have my option and F open plugin windows, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, which is very nice. So basically every time you set a hotkey, also think of its scope. Do you want this hotkey to work in all the windows? Then set it to global. Do you want this hotkey to work even if you are accidentally focused on a text field? Possibly, right? For example, I never make the scope of shift 
hotkeys global because, you know, shift and L also types in capital L. So what if I'm looking to save a preset as capital L? I don't want that to be global. But what about something like command option control and L? Well, actually, this is a great candidate for a global hotkey because the Padre LFO generator can generate LFO values both in the track envelope, but also in selected takes MIDI. So I can be in the MIDI editor and I may want to open an envelope generator. So I can set that scope to global and I can even set it to global plus text fields because this doesn't type anything. I never need to press this in a text field. If I am pressing it in a text field, I probably didn't notice that I'm in a text field and my focus is not where I want it to be. So I want wherever I am, whatever I'm doing to press this and get the Padre's LFO. Flow generator. So to work our way down from the top of the hotkey hierarchy, hotkeys with global plus text fields take precedence. No matter what window is selected, no matter where you're focused in, no matter what is active, you can always have those things show up. Next up are just the global commands. For example, my markers, one, two, four, five, etc. They work no matter what window is focused. However, I can still type them into my text fields. And finally, the lowest hierarchy controls are things that I need to have a specific window focus to use. I'm kind of taking some parallels from the hierarchy. A, if you have any plugin where you send all keyboard inputs to it, and on top of that, there are some non-negotiable stuff. Like if you have any effects window focused, and you can know that by the fact that your top menu changes, if I hit command then B, I'll be bypassing this. And even if I set my command and B hotkey to global, it won't really affect this. As well as if I have send all keyboard input to plugin, that will sit kind of above my normal scoped hotkeys, but below my global hotkeys. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you like the work I do, please donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Please subscribe to my channel for weekly rapid fire repair tutorials and join our Discord server. And the link of that will be in the description as well. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.